Play. Choose a profile. New game. I'll ride a bike on the paths along the river. And I'll paddle in the kayak. When we get on the jetty, we'll eat all those goodies that Auntie prepared for us. Yummy, yummy! Let's see who's going to be first. This is Teddy Floppy Ear. There's a life jacket hanging up here. Indicate the life jacket. Teddy will come and take it. A life jacket? If I fall into the water, it will keep me afloat. And this is Mr. Boson. Indicate him as he has something important to say. The kayak is ready for you. You can set off. In the kayak I get. What about the paddle? That's right. I must find a paddle. Now indicate the arrow which shows the way to the next scene. Well done! Now you know how to play. A paddle for the kayak. I'm not taking the bucket. A boat hook. I don't need that. Oh, Teddy, what about the basket? We forgot about it completely, Auntie Oink Oink. In the basket, you've got sandwiches, some cake, croissants, strawberries, nuts, and a bottle of lemonade. Thank you very much, Auntie. Don't stay out too long. A coil of rope. That's not what I'm looking for. Remember, you have a map to help you. Have a good kayak trip. Off I go. I must get ahead of Piglet. Wow. You're a crayfish and you're sitting on a tree? Well, that's rather obvious. I'm patrolling the area. I can't be disturbed now. Mr. Catfish said so. Hmm. That's odd. The heron is in here, which suits us pretty fine. Croco, croco, croaky. Tra la 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 la. Let me go. Of course, croak. But you have to play. A game with us. <laughs> Let's play then. Each frog must sit on a leaf of the same color as the frog. The frogs can hop. Indicate a frog and then the leaf onto which you want it to jump. Go! Hop! 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 Hey, I'm in the rock! Croak! 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 Hop! Hop! 
Hop, yes. Hop. Hey, hop. Hey, this. Hop. Grow, grow. Bravo. The way croak is clear. A green whistle. A green welly. A green ball. A green apple. A green flipper. What are you doing, Squirrel? Keeping order among the fish. But why you? Mr. Catfish advised me to do so. Strange habits around here. Oh, it's so nice by the river. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. What a shame. I've lost the strawberries and the nuts. Oh, how he ran away. Ha, ha, ha. What was that? It's Mr. Catfish, who recently came to live in the river. I've already heard about Mr. Catfish and his ideas. He's just hit the kayak, and the nuts and the strawberries have fallen into the water. Don't worry, there's a strawberry plantation near here. There are some nuts there too, in the woods behind the plantation. Diving! I'll look for some strawberries and some nuts. A little rest is needed. I wonder where Piglet is. What brings you here? Excuse me, are there any strawberries growing near here? And do you like strawberries? Very much. And you, sir? I adore them. Though recently I have eaten too many. The plantation is further along there. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. So many of them. They'll eat all the strawberries. 
I have no idea what to do. I'll look around. Maybe I'll find help. Oh, you've scared me. I'm so sorry. Who are you? I'm still mistaken for a snake. I'm a lizard. They call me a slow worm. But you don't look frightening. Do you know that snails are ravaging the strawberry field? I must quickly get help. I know very well how to deal with snails. But I'm afraid of the farmer. I'll talk to him. Was it you who placed these signs on the edge of the wood? Yes. I chased away an evil snake. It hid in the wood among the trees. It's a lizard, a slow worm, not a snake. And it guarded your strawberries from pests. What on earth have I done? Maybe I can persuade the slow worm to come back. Go back to the field. Now the farmer knows how helpful you are. No one is a match when I look after the strawberry patch. And do you know where any hazel trees grow? I need to put some nuts in my basket. Right behind the wood, there's a hazel grove. Off I go then to collect some nuts. What is that lying on the grass? A fragment of a map. Will you give me a few nuts? But of course, of course. Mr. Catfish says that my beak is ideal for collecting them. Is it really your job to collect nuts? Well, I'm trying, but it isn't going very well. And those mosquitoes... I'll help you, but promise that you'll go back to the river. Collecting nuts is a job for a squirrel, not for a heifer. Collect all the nuts in the basket. But watch out for the mosquitoes. <laughs> Thank you, Teddy Floppy Ear. Thank you. You can take as many nuts as you want. I'll take a few and put them in my basket. I'll run to the river and the squirrel can come back here. See you later, Heron. has fallen apart and one bit is missing. Is it this one? Yuppie! Yes, yes! Wait, I'll help put it together. Help Mouse match the bits of her map. 
you can move them vertically or horizontally. When you finish, indicate the arrow. Thank you. I can go on looking for some cheese. Yippee! Because of the map, I know where the cheese is. Oh, I see that the farmer has already taken down the warning signs. some strawberries for you. More will ripen in the sun. Thank you. Mouse, did you meet Mr. Catfish as you were walking? Yes, near the strawberry plantation by the water. Mr. Catfish graduated from university, so he must be very wise. Judging by the rearrangements he's made by the river, I find it hard to believe. I'll write a simple mathematical equation on the stones. Let's see if Mr. Catfish can solve it. Yuppie! Excellent! All I need is something to write with. How's your kayaking going, floppy ear? A lot is happening by the river. The jetty is wet and slippery. I'll write an equation on the stone with a piece of chalk, but I'll ask Mr. Boson if I can take it. Could I take a piece of the chalk which is lying on the jetty? Help yourself! I have plenty of it! Chalk. Good for drawing. I'll take a small piece. I'll write a mathematical equation on the stone for Mr. Catfish. I'll write a mathematical equation on the stone for Mr. Catfish. I've got some chalk, so let's start. Do you know maths? <laughs> but of course. Interesting. Hmm. That will be... Hmm. 
rather um, complicated. Why don't you have a think? We will try to solve something interesting too. It is a mathematical rebus. A picture corresponds to each digit. Try to solve the equation. When you finish, indicate the mouse. Excellent! And now? Bravo! And now? Yes! And now? Yes! Oh, that will be a hundred. <coughs> Not a hundred? Uh, twelve? <coughs> one! One! That's the correct answer. <coughs> As such, Mr. Catfish, you don't know much. Well, because uh, today I forgot my abacus. The day is so hot and all. And do you know how to spell? Don't ask me anything. How do you spell fish? Well, it's uh, uh, F, uh, then uh, double E, uh, or maybe not. Or, uh, uh, all right. I, I lied when I said I graduated from the River University and that I'd read all the books in the lake. I can neither write nor count. But from this day, I will no longer cheat. A wise decision. I apologize for the lies and for eating your strawberries and nuts. Oh, my basket is full now. It's time to catch up with Piglet. Farewell, Teddy. I've managed to catch up with you, Piglet. Eh, uh, I, I don't think I can make it. But, but, but why? You see, first I hit a rock and got a flat tire, and now the pump. What about it? It's fallen into the water. Oh, wait, Piglet. I've recently met a diver. He could fish out your pump. Wonderful. I'll be waiting for you here. Who could have dived in the river lately? It must have been Alex the Otter, if you ask me. He's probably already lounging on a deck chair. Have you been diving in the river recently? Yes. Oh, it was you on the kayak. I need your help again. My friend's pump has fallen into the water. I'm always willing to help. I'll help you if... You borrow a diving helmet from Mr. Boson. Well, you know, I can't do it myself. All right, I'll ask Mr. Boson for a helmet. <sighs> Great! I'll sunbathe the little more.
Can I borrow the diving helmet? Alex promised to help us. Okay. It's only that I don't know where the helmet is. Oh, by the way, uh, could you look for my binoculars as well? Of course, I'll look for the binoculars too. When someone takes my things, I don't know where they are. You mustn't take other people's things without asking. Mr. Boson's old diving helmet. I've got the helmet. I must take it to Alex. Here is the helmet. I'm going to see Piglet. We'll meet by the jetty. I'll finish my juice and I'll come with you. Dive, Alex! Hey, Alex! Piglet's pump is yellow and red. Diving! Dive to get the rubbish lying at the bottom of the river. Piglet's pump is hidden under some of it. Fish it out. Watch out for them. Let's go up! The bottle is fished out! Yet another dive! Let's go up! The bucket's fished out! I'll keep on diving! Surfacing! The well is fished out. Down I go again. The horseshoe is so heavy. I must pull it out. The horseshoe is fished out. One more dive. Here's the pump. But first, I must fish out this can. Fish out the rubbish. I've fished out the can. Off I dive for the pump. Many thanks, Alex. At your service. Now I will pump up the tire. 
I'll take the helmet back to Mr. Boson. And I'll go and get the binoculars. Goodbye. I'll get into the kayak and I'll paddle to get the binoculars. Teddy has paddled into a creek. Steer the kayak to avoid obstacles. Binoculars. Mr. Boson's binoculars. like nuts anyway. I hope that the crayfish won't bump into the kayak again. I'll walk from here. Ah, Alex has already returned the helmet, and I see that the binoculars have been found too. Goodbye! Hop into the kayak. Now I can paddle to the jetty. Teddy, and this is from me with my apologies. A colorful float from Mr. Catfish. Oh, thank you.
Teddy, stop! Yes, Mrs. Duck? My ducklings got lost in the reeds. Help to find them. I'll try, madam. Here, the bend of the... Find five ducklings hidden in it, and then find a way out. Watch out for crayfish. Duckling. 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 Now, to the exit. Is it far to the jetty from here? It's not far, Teddy. Off I go, then. Piglet going past here. Oh, yes. Just a moment ago, 
Huffing and puffing. <laughs> Off I paddle then. I may still get ahead of him. Hooray! You've made it, Floppy Ear. I was first, but then again, only with your help. Oh, the most important thing is that we had fun. And things by the river are back in order. Now, obviously, it's time for afters on the jetty. Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> 